I love loads of things about Scotland. I love the music, I love the culture, I love the opportunities that you can have. I'm proud to be Scottish. It's where I was born and it's what I've been my whole life and it's not going to change. Alexander Graham Bell, Fleming who invented penicillin, John Le Beard, Auntie Murray. <laughs> Nashar Koba. I love the scenery, I love how green it is, I like the people. There's nothing really in any part of the world which is better than actually you can find in Scotland itself. We have it all. There's space, there's beauty of scenery, friendly people, lots of opportunities for business. I would say I'm definitely proud to be Scottish and I'm proud to be British. In thinking uh, Scotland would definitely have the best of both worlds. I'm very patriotic and it's because I'm patriotic that I don't want independence. I know Scottish poems, I know Scottish songs, I go to burn suppers, I like tartan. You know, what makes me not patriotic just because I don't want independence? You know, we're not in Braveheart, you know, there's a lot of other things going on. We've got one of the best education systems um, in the world at the moment. I wouldn't want that to change. We've guaranteed our schools, we've guaranteed our hospital care. Aberdeen will always be a very busy place, but only busy, and continue being busy and doing well if we're part of the UK. Four nations, we all pull together extremely well. English, Wales, Irish, the Air Force, and the Scottish Regiment Navis, and we were all one. I think together we're a much stronger, you're a family unit, you can support each other a lot better. See as a lot of brother and sister, might not agree on a lot of things, might have fallouts, but at the end of the day we still get back together, and it, which makes the United Kingdom as it is today. Scotland is the football banter that you get around here. Uh, just the rivalries of old form, the friendliness of everyone here. As a Scottish rugby fan, I like to see the, the English getting stuffed as much as the next Scotsman, but um, I think we have more shared history and, and shared culture um, over, over the last few hundred years than, than separates us. I don't want to feel like in a few years that if I go down to England, I, I, I don't want to feel like I shouldn't really be there because it's not, I'm not part of the UK anymore, so I don't want to feel isolated from the rest of the UK. If you go separate, you're on your own, right? There's no way back to that. Whereas if you're together, you've got allies. I think we've, uh, we've been together for so long now that it would be kind of difficult for us to be apart, kind of like um, um, a relationship or a marriage. I love Scotland. That's one of the reasons that I'm not going to support independence because I don't think it's good for the country. I'm British and I've been British for 71 years and I'll be British until I'm in a wooden box. I'm a proud Scot, but I also consider myself a, a member of the United Kingdom, and I stress the word united. Better together, better together. Saying no to becoming separate from the United Kingdom is its not a bad thing, it's surely a positive thing. I love the fact that I'm Scottish, I love Scotland, but I love that we're a part of the UK. You must keep your head up and you must keep looking, looking upwards. And, and keep your horizon as broad as possible. And that's what I say. I'm voting no for the future for my kids and their kids. <laughs>